Hello again. Uh, today we're going to look at how to run a report by homeroom. Uh, this is especially useful if you're at the elementary level you're and you're on a fixed schedule and you have classes back to back and you just need to run a report very quickly. Um, so we're going to start out with um, reports and we're going to go to patron reports, current checkouts and fines. We're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to click on all that are checked out. Now, unpaid library fines and unpaid patron fines are optional. So if you're at an elementary and you don't assess fines, you won't need those. If you're at the middle school level or high school level and you do assess fines, you might want to include those. That's up to you. We're going to keep it at report and we're going to click continue. We're going to update our patron type to just students. So I'll uncheck faculty, click OK. Um, and we're going to update the circulation type. Um, and we're going to do regular because that's what the books are categorized under. And you might also want to do uh, reference just because they might have a reference book. We have ours integrated into our nonfiction. And we're going to click OK. And then we're going to click Continue. So here we're going to change this to Homeroom. And we're going to do Miss Adams Homeroom from Miss Adams to Miss Adams. Um, and then you can, if you want to, you can do include the cover image or the price. That's up to you. Those are optional. Um, but you really don't need it since they're all going to be under one homeroom. Um, and we're going to click Save Setup. We're going to name this Adam's Homeroom Report. And we're going to save and run. Let's refresh our list. We're going to click on View. And here we only have one student that has something out under Miss Adams' homeroom. Okay, so you have now set up this report. Um, you can go back to um, patron reports, back to current checkout and fines, and here is where you're going to see Adams' homeroom report. All you have to do is click on run, and there you go. If you wanted to add it as a favorite, um, you can click on this little plus and heart symbol. And then if you come over here to my favorites, it will be under there. Here you can see I have these three as a favorite. So at the elementary level, you would want to set this up for every class that you have. That way you can just go to and say, I have Miss Adams today. I need to run the report. And then you can go to the next one. If you wanted to do it by grade level, you could do second Adams or second whoever. And that would help you... Um, the days that you know. I need to run these reports. I know the classes I have. So that's how you run a report by homeroom and hopefully that will save you some time and you can quickly assess who has books out in each class. Um, a short addendum to this video is I want to show you how to check out by homeroom. Um, this is set up through PowerSchool so you have to make sure your PowerSchool is up to date. Um, this is a bigger issue at the high school level, especially at the semester change. Sometimes it takes um, the rollover to get everything switched over. Um, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, for elementary and middle school, it's really not that big of a deal. So if you notice, um, I have logged out and I've logged in as the site administrator. Um, we have some, I have some extra rights built in to this um, under this user um, you may not have these these uh, capabilities so we're going to go to back office and you'll notice um, now I have access levels over here under this toolbar so we're going to click on access levels and I'm a site administrator so you're going to click on the edit button and you need to make sure that this checkout by homeroom under library circulation access is checked. Um, you check that and you click save. <clears throat> so when you go to circulation um, over here you have now check out by homeroom. So you can click that and then you're going to click on a homeroom. So if we were to go to Bianca Adams, click on her, select the patron, and now you have your patrons. If you have um, pictures the pictures will show up if there's no picture on file then they won't show up 
um, but you can still click on it. So click on this person and then you can scan the barcode and that's how you check out by homeroom. If you're by yourself and you don't have a uh, para with you, um, you could set this up as a self checkout station and the kids, uh, you'd have to teach the kids how to self checkout and that could be an easy feature to do right there. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks.